Stevie James. Oh, not you again. Steven, before you keep walking, I know you made your decision and you showed some pep. You, you, you got me when I wasn't looking. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Steven, you showed spunk and I know, I know you probably weren't thinking straight, you know, you were, you were hearing the girls chant your name, you know, you're thinking with the little head, not the big head. I'm gonna give you another offer, Steven. Come and join us, because that's where you belong. Man, Steven. Adam, stop. I've already chosen my side. I know what side I want to be on, and that's with Derek Seminetti and Richie Sick. Okay? What do you mean, <laughs> Steven, you got lucky. Okay, you got lucky. Lucky. You punched me when I wasn't looking at you. And you couldn't do it again if you tried. <laughs> Two of a flinching. Zero Wrestling Television, Adam Nessel has promised Richie Sick will not survive the evening. I, of course, don't believe that, but then again, Adam Nessel's also making me call this show by myself again. And better still, before we get to our main event, Adam Nessel has demanded that we air footage from this past weekend's Undercard Warriors of Derek Simonetti failing to find a fourth man for Warriors. Hey. Whatever it is, the answer is no. Look, we need a fourth part. Like I said, the answer is no. They tell me, I don't think you understand. Look, look, look. What you don't understand is that you costed me my World Heavyweight Championship. God damn it, I didn't do it intentionally, yeah. Tommy. Yeah, you did. It's your fault, okay? Now I gotta live with that. Now I'm not the champion. Now what? Can we be a partner? No. Dude. It's not my fault that they put you on undercard warriors. That's not me. That's them. Look, this is where I am now, and I'm done with PCW. Okay? I'm done with that. Forget it. Forget all about it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with PCW. No, 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 no. Dude. This is bigger than me and you. This isn't about me and you. Yeah, sure, we've had some trouble, okay? This has been about me and you in the past, but tonight and tonight alone, this is not about me and you. This is about PZW. God damn it, this is about family. That's the house that we built. Me and you. Me and you. We made that f***ing place. No, no, no. I'm, 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 no, no, no. You're going to listen to every word I have to say. If you still want to say no, you can say no. But the fact of the matter is, it's not just about PZW, but it's about family. If Richie's sick, if I can forgive Richie's sick, you can look me in my face and forgive me and go for the greater good and make PZW back to what it was. Because those sons of bitches moved in and tore everything that we worked hard to build down. And you're just going to let them walk. You know what? I want you to be the fourth guy. I want you to be our partner. I want you to be my partner. And if that's not good enough for you, if that's not good enough for you, fine. But we want you. You know what's good enough for me? You just leave me alone. The answer's still no. Goodbye, Derek. Tommy, it's been 15 years. We've been doing this shit for... Truth be told... I don't think we can win without you either.
You see, what Adam Nessel doesn't realize is that most of the PZW audience has already seen that bit of footage because most PZW fans watch Undercard Warriors more than they watch PZW TV because of bonehead decisions like the ones Adam Nessel makes. But I digress. After this commercial break, almost one year in the making, Richie Sick, John Wilson, one on one. When 15 minutes is not enough for you, go to the brand new interactive PZWrestling.com. Catch up on episodes you may have missed, check out exclusive photos and videos on our Facebook, and join in on the conversation on Twitter and get a free DVD. For all that and much more, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, PZWrestling.com. It's a dot com. Hi, Rich. Remember me? KM Cash? Yeah, I bet you do. From the pizza shop? Remember the pizza shop? Remember John? The guy who put you in the hospital? Because I told him to? Yeah. He's going to, uh... What's the word I should use? End you. Tonight. On Project Zero Wrestling. And, uh... I don't really think we have a chance. Come on. Look at me. Look at me. Is she sick? Richie Sick is the glue, the glue that holds that team, that team, glue, together. Tonight, I want you, he's like a little, he's like a little book. I want you to squash him. I want you to squash him. I want you to do that. I want you to squash him, squash him, squash him, and then when he's dead, you want to squash him again. Do it. Do it now. Squash him. Squash him. You see, it's moments like that that make me happy because Adam Nessel is slowly losing his grip on PZW. As John Wilson makes his entrance to the arena to face Richie Sick, the man he threw down a flight of stairs, the man whose career he could have ended with one act of stupidity thanks to K.M. Cash. But tonight, tonight John gets what he deserves. And the fans have not forgotten Richie Sick. Richie Sick, 100%. No ring rust. Back in action. And John Wilson trying to blindside him with a clothesline. Duck under and both men hitting the ropes. And Richie leaves him hanging. Richie embarrasses John Wilson. And John attempts to get back. Tries to bring him in the hard way. Richie lets go. And John Wilson spills out to the floor. My God, he could have just broke his collarbone, his shoulder. And Richie would have been 100% justified. And look what Richie's setting up for. Could we see a suicide dive from the suicide messiah? Big suicide dive out to the floor. And Richie Sick has got John Wilson where he wants him. Richie just spotted Cam Cash. Richie's on the hunt. Richie's on the hunt for the man that put him in the hospital. And a big clothesline by John Wilson. Cam Cash averts disaster once again. Oh my lord, he could have broke Richie's back over the corner post. John Wilson back in control, back in the ring. Big Irish whip by the Irishman. Up, and a big backbreaker. See, like I was saying earlier, Adam Nessel seems to be losing his grip on sanity, not just PCW. Stevie James punking him out, telling him no. Two count for John Wilson. Resorting to showing Derek Simonetti not getting a fourth man, and a big running boot in the corner. And then having me announce that Richie's sick is going to be killed here in the PCW arena while showing very, very clear signs of nervousness about the fact that Richie Sick is back in contention. And if I was Adam Nessel, I'd be worried about Richie Sick too. Richie is the longest reigning PCW heavyweight champion and for almost his entire PCW career, he went undefeated. Irish whip out of the corner, reversal by Richie Sick. 
Richie backed into the corner and steam engine elbow followed by a belay kick to John Wilson's mush. Oh, Richie's gonna get going. Big roach clip drop kick and a spear in the corner. Richie Sick has been compared to a sonic boom and that is a perfect example of why we call him that. Kick out at two. Not enough to put John Wilson on the ground, but John Wilson can't survive too many more flurries like that. And Richie Sick is going to the high rent district where he's most dangerous and a flying and he caught him. John Wilson caught him in a bear hug as he leapt off the top rope. It's hard, he ain't getting out of Richie Poston swings into a DDT. I have never seen anything like that in my entire broadcasting career. Never mind get out of the bear hug of John Wilson. Get out of a bear hug from John Wilson with so much force to put him on the mat. And it looks like Richie's going up top for another one of his staples, the Swanton Bomb. Wait, what's KM Cash doing, you, you squirrely little bastard? KM Cash trying to uneven the playing field. One-on-one's -on -one's not good enough for the Reign of Terror. And John Wilson's lining up. Big spear in the in the middle of the ring. I'm gonna lose my voice eventually. Once again, it's times like these I wish Owen Cash was here. But once again, another bonehead decision by our owner, Adam Nessie. Oh, John going off top, baby. John, wh where's John yes. going? Moonsault. John tried this before with Biohazard, well, with who we thought was Biohazard, and he failed from the top rope. Why would he think going to the top rope? And a big crutch in the corner, proving my point. Here at the Reign of Terror, we make the same mistake twice. And what the hell is he doing? Oh my god, Tower of London ritual out of the corner! Oh, it's academic. Uh, news to Adam Nessel, your winner and still alive, Richie Sick. And you bet your ass we're taking it to a replay. Let's watch some of this action from earlier. Richie Sick suicide dive. Big assisted, what we call the roach clip drop kick into a spear in the corner and a big finish, ending him with Union Jack's favorite move, the Tower of London, out of a ritual in the corner, and it was academic. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We gotta get back to the ring. Malcolm Xavier is in the ring with John Wilson and they got Richie sick. What is this? No, 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 what is this? Oh my God, it was the sick. That was higher than the top rope. That was yeah. higher than the top rope. And here comes Stevie Woo. James and Derek Simonetti. These two men are trying to level the playing field for their now fallen brother. And they're doing a pretty good job putting a handle on Malcolm Xavier and John Wilson. And I spoke too soon. I knew those two demons were in the wings. Kenny Nessel, Tony Spencer. There's nobody else back there who's gonna come out for Derek Simonetti and Stevie James. Nobody would fill that fourth position. Nobody wants to be the fourth man. And these three men are all alone with this pack of wolves led by Adam Nessel and KM Cash. There's no way. Wait a minute, that's Tommy Corbin. That's Tommy Corbin. He puts down Kenny Nessel. He puts down Tony Spencer. He just dropped both Giants with one drop kick! And the only one left in the ring is KM Cash, and he is surrounded by not three, but four of BCW's finest, thanks to Tommy Corbin. Oh, and there's no way KM Cash is getting out of this. Big haymaker by Derek Simonetti. Big haymaker bouncing him around like a pinball thanks to Tommy Corbin. Stevie James getting his licks in. Richie Sick waiting in the wings. And a ritual puts KM Cash on the ground. Do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? Is Tommy Corbin the fourth man? Has Tommy Corbin changed his mind? These four men are responsible for almost every great moment in PZW history. And there it is! Tommy Corbin is the fourth man! War Games is finally set in stone! The PZW faithful take on the reign of terror to decide the future of Project Zero Wrestling!